Hey there, I'm Eric Hurst, the Training for Climbing Guy, and I'm going to share with you four master tips for improving your climbing beginning today. Number one, view climbing as a highly technical vertical dance that you will never perfect. Sure, simple climbs are intuitive to dance up. However, doing harder boulders and routes and improving for many years to come demands a never-ending desire to learn new climbing techniques, expand your skill set, and improve your economy of movement. Towards this end, always go climbing with the intention to learn how to become a better climber rather than just going through the motions of climbing. Seek out novel challenges and new terrain, both indoors and outside, and consider hiring a climbing coach to teach you some of the tricks of the trade that might take you years to discover via trial and error. Number two, begin some climbing specific training, but don't do too much too soon. If you're a beginning climber, then you'll gain fitness simply by climbing a few days per week. That said, progressing into the higher grades requires that you gradually introduce increasing amounts of targeted training. Things like weighted pull-ups, hangboard repeaters, bouldering 4x4s, and eventually even some campus training. My book, Training for Climbing, is an encyclopedia of training, but you can also learn a lot here on my Training for Climbing YouTube channel. Number three, as physical as climbing is, it's even more mentally taxing, and so you must constantly work on your mental game. Ponder this, ultimately we climb with our minds. Our hands and feet are simply extensions of our thoughts and will. Improving at climbing then demands that you constantly upgrade the software of your brain so that you can better deal with fear, increase your self-awareness, control your arousal and reduce energy leaks, and pre-program your brain for success. And yes, you can do that. I've written a whole book on this rich topic. It's titled Maximum Climbing, and I hope you'll check it out sometime. And last but not least, my fourth tip for becoming the best climber you can be is what I jokingly call the first rule of Eric's Train Club, which is don't get injured. Consider that while climbing is a wonderful activity for the heart and soul, it's actually quite stressful on the body. Many passionate climbers come to suffer from chronic tendon and joint pain, recurrent finger pulley tweaks, elbow tendinosis, shoulder pain, or worse. The common causes are overenthusiastic training, too few rest days, and a poor diet, including chronic protein deficiency. Sadly, overuse injuries are a growing problem among climbers, but they aren't inevitable. With the goal of addressing this problem, I founded Fizzy Vantage, the first complete line of climbing-specific nutritional supplements. All Fizzy Vantage products are research-based and designed from scratch to support strength gains and recovery, promote injury resistance, and enhance climbing performance. Fizzy Vantage Nutrition is now used daily by many pro climbers, as well as thousands of recreational climbers and weekend warriors. Visit fizzyvantage.com to learn how you can gain a physical advantage with our supercharged collagen for tendon support, Endurex for improved climbing endurance and recovery, and our premium proteins, which are weapons grade whey, and our plant-based powerplex, both of which support muscle recovery and strength gains after hard workouts or days of climbing. And if you decide to make a purchase, use checkout code SENDIT to save 10% off your first order. Well, my climbing friend, thanks for listening and here's wishing you many joyous days of training, climbing, and adventuring.